One is stay fit and young well let's do the physical fitness test. Hello there, I am Ivy the Kesapina and today I will be in the paper juggling. Paper juggling is a physical skill performed by a juggler involving the manipulation of objects for recreation, entertainment, art or sport. Juggling burns 280 calories per hour about the same as walking. It sharpens focus and concentration. And it is one of the best ways to improve coordination. Good day everyone, this is Ethel Norna and today I'm going to give you the standing jump. But first, let's have some stretching to avoid physical injury during the afternoon. Standing long jump is also called as the broad jump. It is a common and easy to administer test of explosive leg power. So I got 112. So that's all. Awesome. Thank you. Hello, I am Brian Vega. Today I will be executing the push up for me. Push up is an exercise in which a person lies facing the floor and keeping your back straight, raises your body by pressing down on your hands. The benefits of push up is that it increases functional strength by full body activation, muscle stretching for health and vitality. It also enhances your cardiovascular system. Hexagon Agility Test Hexagon Agility Test is a measure of speed, agility, and the ability to change direction while maintaining a sound balance. Increasing agility while maintaining speed facilities advantages over opponents and how to move quickly into position in order to enhance the tactics and techniques. What do we need in executing the hexagon agility test? Well, all we need are a 66-sided hexagon mark out on the floor, a staff watch, and an assistant. Basic plank is an excellent abdominal and core exercise. It works not only the rectus abdominis, but also the other ab muscles and the core muscles that run from the pelvis along the spine and up to the shoulder curdle. Basic plank is also known as the hover exercise or the front plank. How to do the basic plank? Number one, begin in the plank position. Face down with your forearms and toes on the floor. Your elbows are directly under your shoulders and forearms are facing forward. Your head is relaxed and you should feel the kick at the floor. Number 2. Engage your abdominal muscles throwing your navel toward your spine. Keep your torso straight and rigid and your body in a straight line from ears to toes with no sagging or bending. This is the neutral spine position. Ensure your shoulders are down not creeping up toward your ears. Number 3, hold this position for 10 seconds, release the floor. And number 4, overtime work after 30, 45, or 60 seconds. Hello everyone, I am Leo first year college major So for today's video, I'm going to show you the push-up for females. So, let's start. Push-up for female is definitely done in contrast to push-up for male. The additional benefit of push-up is that it protects your shoulders from injury. It improves your posture and it prevents lower back injuries. In performing this torque balance test, remove your shoes, stand with your hands on your hips. Raise your heel from the floor so you are balancing on the ball of your foot. This torque balance test requires the person to stand on one leg for as long as possible. The main purpose of stork balance test is to assess the whole body balance ability. Hi everyone, my name is JC Russell C90 and at this moment I'll be executing the zipper test. The zipper test is a test measures how mobile and flexible your upper arms and shoulder joints are. This test is done in standing position. Place one hand behind the head and back over the shoulder and reach as far as possible down the middle of your back. Your palm touching your body and the fingers directed downwards. Place the other arm behind your back, palm facing outward, the fingers upward, and reach up as far as possible attempting to touch or overlap 
the middle fingers of both hands. An assistant is required to direct the subject so that the fingers are aligned and to measure the distance between the tips of the middle fingers. If the fingertips touch, then the score is zero. If they do not touch, measure the distance between the fingertips and negative score. If they overlap, measure by how much and it is a positive score. Practice two times and then test two times. Hi everyone, I am Noinjet Valde. At this moment, I'll be repeating the zipper test. The purpose of zipper test is to measure general shoulder range of motion. Three minutes step test measures your aerobic or cardiovascular fitness level during and how quickly your heart returns to normal after exercise. The equipment needed are stopwatch or clock with a second hand, a friend to help you keep count, a 12-inch bench, box or step, a metronome. The goal of this 3 minutes tap test is to step on and off the bench for 3 minutes straight while keeping a consistent pace and then see how quickly your heart rate will come back down. In execution, this test is based on a 12-inch step, so use one as close to 12 inches as possible. Otherwise, your results will be screwed. Set the metronome to 96 beats per minute and make sure you can hear the beat. Stand facing the step. When ready to begin, start the clock or stopwatch and march up and down on the step to the metronome beat up, up, down, down for three consecutive minutes. You can rest if you need to, but remain standing. When three minutes are up, stop immediately. Sit down at the step and count or have a friend count your pulse. Use your wrist or neck for one full minute. What does this 3-minute step test measure? Well, this test assesses your fitness level based on how quickly your heart rate recovers after exercise. The fitter you are, the quicker your heart rate will return to normal after exercise. Sit and reach test is a common measure of flexibility and specifically measures the flexibility of the lower back and hamstring muscles. Hello, I am Mary Jo Diagas, a P1 student. Today I am going to do a physical fitness test and I am executing the steep drop test. To do this, we need to have a 12 inch meter, a table, and a Stick drop test is a simple reaction time test using only a ruler and a little bit of calculating. This test uses the known properties of gravity to determine how long it takes a person to respond to the dropping of an object by measuring how far the object can fall before being caught. The purpose of stick drop test is to measure reaction time, hand-eye quickness, and attentiveness. Sprint or 
or sprint or speed tests can be performed over varying distances, depending on the factors being tested and the relevance of the sport. Thank you for watching!